ringside report for you. Chat a little bit about the boxing doings and then our main event with Jeremy Williams and Quinn Navarro. So don't you dare go anywhere. Center of the ring. This is the featured event of the evening. Scheduled for 10 rounds. Heavyweight. In the red corner. Weighing 237 pounds in blue trunks with white trim with a record of 17, 1 and 1 and 12 knockouts from New Orleans, Louisiana, Quinn Navarre. In the blue corner, weighing 220 pounds from Long Beach, California, in green and with red, black, and gold trim trunks with a record of 21 and 1, 18 knockouts, Jeremy Williams. Right, the, the judges for the fight, Johnny Fema, Terry Wood, and Martin Casino, the referee, Elmo Adams. All right, gentlemen, I gave you instructions in the back. I want you to pay attention to my commands at all times. Let's have a nice, clean, hard fight. Back up. There's Quinn Navarro, the gentleman from this area from the one stepped in a couple of days ago as a fill-in replacement. There have been two men previously scheduled to fight. This man, Jeremy Williams, the young heavyweight, 22-year-old, who will be 23 next month. We've seen him many times here on Top Rank Boxing. Quinn Navarre, we have to say, very confident and loose young man, not just today, but also before this fight. Williams going after him, as was Williams practicing early. To, oh, Navarro with a nice jab to the head of Williams. Now, Jeremy Williams has been on the canvas a couple times before, folks. We've seen Barry Wilson knock him down. Has it been Davis really caught him? Yes. So it's not as if Williams doesn't take some shots early in the fight. And Quinn Navarre showing no fear going right after Williams. The ironic thing about Williams, who came up from 178 in his early days, is... He can punch well enough to stay in this division. It's the chin that always makes the question. He was a, uh, when he was uh, fighting in the amateurs and fought in the Olympic trials, actually fought at the super middleweight division. The fact that you can make that kind of a jump is a tribute to your athleticism, which he does have. And at some point, you have to be able to get in and out, and trade, and move along. Navarre, young man, a former football player from Southern University, played running back there, has learned boxing, primarily as a pro, learned as he's gone. Good counter right by Navarre a moment ago, and yet another one. The reaction to fighters who oppose Williams is like Holyfield. They feel bigger right away. Don't you feel the confidence from Navarre early in this fight? Certainly not to, do. Not to suggest he's going to pull the upset, but he wants to pull the upset. He wants to get this into a slugfest here. And, of course, that can work against him, too, because you mentioned that Williams can punch. But what it's creating for us right now, for you at home, is an exciting heavyweight match. This is not the boxer puncher that Joe Goosen, who's been working with Williams, has wanted him to be. In and out, moving in and out, landing here and there. Good right by Williams, though. Jeremy's starting to get some good shots. In. Now, you made the point about early Jeremy Williams, and that's how this looks. Sometimes, though, you have no choice. As the bar has come right in on here and tried to smoke him out. Good hook downstairs, but Williams has been getting hit with that right hand and took another one. Did that hurt him? It might have. Boy, they're both throwing rights. Either man could get hit with something big now. Quinn Navarre delighting his hometown crowd. And believe me, there are some folks in this crowd who have come to see Quinn Navarre. Most of them, good uppercut by Williams. It's all power against power now. It's a war here in round one. We have had some good heavyweight matchups lately, and this is becoming one of them. He turned it around here toward the end of the round. How hard is Navar? He got nailed with a big right. Round one comes to a conclusion. 
And we didn't get a chance to show the keys to victory. Dave, let's go to the AutoZone keys to victory. Well, Alfred Jill, uh, Williams jab effectively, which hasn't happened so far. Punch and angles, he's doing that. Navarre, the left hooks, it's been in there. Seize opportunities. He tried to seize one in round one with a, a power burst. The AutoZone keys. Lots of power in the first round. Now, Navarre sees the right hand. He lands it there. Williams has been hit with quite a bunch of those. Now you're going to see some hooks as Williams gets it in there. Nice hook downstairs. Lands another one. And this was the part of the round where toward the end he had Quinn Navarre hurt. So did the strategy of Navarre to come out banging actually serve him not so well? Quinn is a 27-year-old. We mentioned for three years he played at Southern University as a running back. Took up the sport of boxing kind of late. Comes out a little tentative here in round two, and Williams senses it and goes after him. There are only 23 of 141 punches thrown in that round, first round with jabs, and you can set up the format what they should do, and adrenaline comes in and totally wipes it out. I think Navarre is hurt. A side headlock before, but he's still punching. He's hurt, but he's punching. Missing. And in Williams' fights, we see the clock as a factor quite often. Fighters get hurt. How can they take advantage of it? And there you go, very close in terms of punches landed, and they both fired quality power shots. It is Navarre right now, though. He's holding on. Elway had up the fine referee, trying to break the two of them, warning them. Quinn Navarre now reduced to throwing the shot and leaning in against Jeremy Williams. Well, now you news about something here, too. Navarre was training for a fight next week. How good was the training? Because he would figuratively be the first to wilt under this kind of a pace if it was a long fight. Williams with the hook, drives Navarre back and lands a couple more. He is ripping those double left hooks. Navarre looks... The team already. Well, he looks tired already. And it was a lightning first round. You don't see heavyweights mix it up like that for too long. And Williams looks like it hasn't bothered him as much. The Barge is leaning himself against the rope. Is that a ploy? Oh, he is tired. And you know, Williams is not a kind of guy that lets you off. No. Another standing eight count. Elmoedov stepping in again. He He's going to finish fight. this. He's stopping the fight. That's not right. Now that's bizarre. I got to be honest. I think Elmoedov's a terrific referee, but I, I, even though Williams was dominating, I got to think that was very strange. It has to go a little further first. The dominance has to be more oh, clear cut. Yeah. And they're they're irate in in uh, they're irate in the corner of Quinn Navar. Now I, I got to tell you, Jeremy Williams was winning. I suspect he was going to win this fight. And he was taking over, but you have to over. watch him do it for a longer no. period of time than that. That's that's too fast. Very quick stoppage. But Jeremy Williams gets the win. And uh, Quinn Navarro, who surely was, it looked like uh, to us, was getting tired, was getting hit with some big punches. But you have to feel this young man deserved a little more opportunity in there. He still has the puncher's chance. He did get Jeremy Williams' his attention in the first round. Now, here's Williams coming in early in round two now. Coming forward. The jab. Right hand around the side. Did not get in. Good left uppercut. Driving in here. Another good left hook. Another left hook there. Now, there's a standing eight. That surprised Navarre immediately. Fatigue was more his enemy throughout that. Another look at it. The right over the top. Check the short shots here by Jeremy Williams. Two left hooks. And why are the fighters holding and hitting here? Now, you can make a case for the standing eight there, which apparently there must be one, even though we were told there wasn't. Um, but uh, the stoppage, an interesting one. Jeremy Williams, though, got things back on track in that second round. Did have Quinn Navarre hurt. And certainly looked like he was on his way to a possible knockout. Comes earlier than some might have suspected. And uh, this young man continues on his 
winning ways. And uh, he's won seven straight now since his loss to Larry Donald. And the man leading in there, Joe Goosen, the trainer, is one of the one of the uh, architects of that. Buddy DiLiberto is in the ring. Let's go to him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the official verdict, the winner by a technical knockout at two minutes, six seconds of the second round, Jeremy Williams. So Jeremy Williams gets the win another one by knockout for him and this young man he hopes edges closer with his 22nd win as a professional to contention in the heavyweight division dave von temple will be back to chat with him in just a moment over a million people each week walk into AutoZone, and we're back here in new orleans